everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the New Orleans State Palace Theater for tonight's main event. Ten rounds, bantamweight action. And the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Little get to know you here in the opening round scheduled for 10. Teddy, this has the feeling of a fight that very much looks like it'll be a chess match. Yeah, this is a Bobby Fischer type fight, no doubt about that. It's a matter of who moves their pawns and each guy doing a real careful job and a thoughtful job before they touch those pieces. Dollar Bill's the target of a hook. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. He just missed that shot up top. Bang the body, bang the body, that's right. Oh, what a left hand. Done, but all of a sudden now, surviving. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. How about that left hand? Is a sharp uppercut by Dollar Bill. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three minute round. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. They're not exactly getting to know each other, they're just beating the hell out of each other early on here. Yeah, Joe, if this keeps up, they're both gonna have headaches and we're gonna have one of the great fights to talk about. A well-placed overhand right. Scored well up top. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Punches and bunches, combination up top. Up top with the right hand. Still not moving enough. And he's holding. Body shot, left hand. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Dollar Bill. Good. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Listen. You need to. Dollar Bill's corner did a good job in that last round. They really got their fighter back to where he needs to be after being damaged in that last round. And that's not the only good job they did in the corner. They did a good job in the camp because obviously they have him in top shape and it's paying dividends right now. The babyface assassin's got a way of just getting away from that punch. There's that overhand right. The babyface assassin is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. He's doing a really good job here of being patient, and patient with a good reason, Teddy. You can tell he's got a counterpuncher mentality. What's the key to being a counterpuncher? Well, being patient, first of all, and understanding what you have to get your opponents to do to help you, because this doesn't work just on you. It's not like the front end where you create it. 
it's a little help from your opponent. He's got to come in. You got to draw him into throw a punch so you can make a miss, and then you have to alleyway to land something. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by the baby face assassin. Halfway through round number two. Engages in the clinch. Double jab, double jab. Head Just hugging there. All out action throughout this round. Let's see how they finish it up. Dollar Bill's hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three punch combo? Babyface Assassins just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Dollar Bill's work on the inside is very impressive, especially with the hook. You know, some guys are just made for this kind of fighting, aren't they, Teddy? Yeah, they are. First of all, he throws short punches, and on the inside, that's what you want to do. You don't want to leave an opening where your opponent can count him back. You want to keep everything tight. He throws a beautiful textbook tight left hook. Overhand right can be so effective. Nowhere close that punch by Dollar Bill. Ten seconds to go in this Watch round. The Watch the hook, come on. So the round comes to an end. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas sitting with you ringside. I know you had a very busy week before you flew here out to broadcast this fight, doing your charitable contributions back in Staten Island with the Dr. Theodore Atlas Foundation. Yeah, thank you for bringing that up, Joe. We did well. We had our dinner, our yearly dinner, where we're able to raise money to help people that are in need, people that have nowhere else to go for help, whether it's a mother that can't pay the cancer treatment for a seven-year-old daughter and we're able to pick up that insurance but the thing that I want to take a second to thank everybody for is that it's a collective effort it's all the people that allow us the resources to go out there and help those people a well-placed left hand up top Dollar Bill's been doing a very good job landing that uppercut against his opponent. Teddy, if you're his opponent, you know that uppercut's coming. What should you be doing? Well, exactly. You should move your head a little bit. Slip a little bit. Let that uppercut miss you. And then there's going to be an opening to counter right away. Fill that hole, probably with a hook. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by the babyface assassin. Inside, inside. That's good, good. <laughs> Dollar Bill's punch didn't come close. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Now look at him. He does. Oh, that's got to hurt. He just went down. The infighter went out, and now he went down. Hey, it's okay to go out, but go out the side door. He went out the front door, and as you said, maybe he's paying the ultimate price. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving. But if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. You're not for Pace yourself. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Good block there by the babyface assassin. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Keep it going. He missed with that headshot. Strong left by Dollar Bill. Oh! Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? So he is.
is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Keep working the body. That hook was well off the mark. Pace yourself. Bills got to deal with a cut. Big shot, the right game. Wow! Dollar Bills not going to hear from those judges. He's a knockout victim. Teddy will say when it's too close to call, but that wasn't the case tonight. He was winning this fight, and yet he loses by TKO. Well, this was one of those cases, the only way 